Once he finds out that Fanny's back, he's gonna be devastated. To be fair, she did tell you not to trust her. <laughs> it's me. Dad? You're... you're not Gregory, are you? Inside my Faz wrench, there's a secret device that I started working on before I passed. It was my own network, outside of the Vanny systems. I love you, sweetheart. What's going on? Help me. I am off. So, you finally figured it out. Of course, I'm not your son. I'm sure he's quite cheerful and energetic. That would be if Fanny didn't have him locked in her little test tube. Where the hell is my son? You better tell me right now, or I swear to God I'll- You'll what? You'll mother me to death? Uh, please, Roxanne. We both know you aren't the fighting type. You don't know the first damn thing about me. At least I can sit here as my true self. Not hide behind a mask. I'm not hiding, Roxanne. In fact, I'm just stalling time until. What? Stalling time? What the hell is going on? Sorry we couldn't spend more time together, Roxy. I'm sure you're a really cool person. Or should I say, were. A really cool person. It's a shame you won't be able to say goodbye to your real son. But here, I can try to replicate what it would have been like, at least. Say goodbye? No. What are you going to do to him? Oh, Roxanne. It's funny. While you've been unlearning your own narcissistic tendencies, you failed to realize the problem that lies before you. Sometimes, things aren't about other people. Sometimes, things truly are meant just for you. What? everything from me. My son, my home, almost my life. I just... No. I am done letting her control my damn life. She can take my home, mess with me all she wants, but no one messes with my son. Little does she know, she made a mistake today. Oh, is coming out to hunt, and now I have the element of surprise. All right, just gotta get a little bit cleaned up, just get a little charge in, and oh, I'm so excited. Now, Greg seemed a little <laughs> weird and everything. Tiger? Uh, Roxy? <coughs> oh. Tiger, are you here? 
Roxy, where are you? I'm on the racetrack. Um, I'm in my <sighs> room. Oh. <coughs> Roxy? We what? have an issue. What, uh, what the, what the hell's going on? What happened to you? Why do you look like Vinny? that? Vanny tried to have me killed. What? I went home after you told me to, and I was worried about Gregory and where he was, and... Tiger, she blew up my house. She has my son. Uh, apparently, he's trapped in some sort of test tube. Oh, oh, I don't even know. Uh, look, I need you to bring me to wherever she's hiding, and I need you to do it now. Okay, uh, Roxanne, look, I understand things are very urgent right now, and... Oh, this is all starting to make sense. I really hope you don't think I had anything to do with it. I, I really thought it was a good idea for you to go <clears throat> home. I had no idea what Vanny was planning. And then when you left, there was this thing. And oh my gosh, your son came up to me right after you walked away looking for you. And I didn't understand what was going on. He just seemed so off from all the stories you had told me. But I recognized him from the pictures you showed me. And... Uh, I'm so sorry, Roxy. Tiger, that... that wasn't Gregory, that's why. It was a mimic, and apparently Vanny must have programmed it somehow to look like Gregory, so I would trick it into letting it into my home. I mean, you should have seen it when it was talking to me. It was... it was so much like him, but... but also nothing like him at all at the same time. There was just, it was like there was nothing behind his eyes. No soul, no remorse, no amount of regret for what it was doing or what it knew that it was about to do. These mimics, they're freaking monsters, Tiger, and I'm just tired of... I, um... Um, I, I, I didn't, I didn't mean that. At, no, at least not for you. Look, I'm sorry. I'm just really going through it right now, and I don't even know where Gregory is. And my house, it's gone. You're, you're not a monster, Tiger. That's, that's not what I meant. I, I'm sorry. It, it's okay. You have a lot of emotions built up right now, and you're going through a really hard time. I, I get where you're coming from. But Roxanne, please just know I'm not like the other mimics. I want to help you. I I learned from a young age how to have morals and values. I, I learned how to make valuable connections with people like you. I want friends. I want real relationships. And I want to meet your son. So I'm going to help you get him back, Roxy. I promise. Thank you, Tiger. All right. Uh, let, let's go. Come on. Head. Hey. Hello? Oh. Cassie? Um. What? What is going on? Get away from me. Uh, Go away! Shh. Okay, shush! Just Why am I in a tube? Gregory, I need you to stay quiet. I don't know exactly how long Fanny is going to be gone for. What? What are you, what are you talking about? Is this you that I'm talking to, or is that whatever version of Cassie I was talking to earlier still here? Gregory, I'm... To start, I'm just sorry. I didn't mean for literally any of this to happen, but listen... You tased me! Shush! Be quiet! You tased me! I talked to my dad, and I was able to destroy the Vanny network. Wait. What? What are you talking about? You talked to your dad. Cassie, that's impossible. It's not impossible, but look, it doesn't matter right now. I'll try and explain that all to you a different day. <sighs> as hard as it was to say goodbye, it just... That can't be our priority right now. The most important thing right now is to figure out how to get us both out of here. <sighs> okay. Um, well, I guess first things first is... Is there a way for you to get me out of this tube? I'm kind of um, stuck here. Uh, let me see. In my computers. Um, let me just... One second. Okay. 
I do have an old version of the Mexus program. Um, I, I guess I can just go ahead and install it into this building's network. Oh, uh, sure. <laughs> oh my gosh. You know, it's <laughs> really nice to have you back after all this time of Fanny controlling you and Helpy being controlled and Roxanne's memories being wiped and not knowing what the heck is ever going on. I really <laughs> missed times like these where we were just working together to save the world like old times. I agree. <laughs> Stop being dramatic. <laughs> I I missed it too. <laughs> um okay, I uh went ahead and I hacked the mainframe and now you should be able to get out of the tube. Okay. Um come on out. Hopefully this worked. You did yes. it. <laughs> oh my gosh. I honestly sometimes forget how smart you are. <laughs> um I think I do too. Okay, um now we should Honestly, probably get out of here before she comes back. Come on. Wait, 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 wait. Um, I, I didn't think about this. Um, when she does come back, she'll realize you weren't here. She's going to freak out and probably do something irrational. We need to trick her into thinking you're still in there somehow. What do you mean? Cassie, if we leave, I'm not going to be here anymore. It's, I can't just be in two places at once. That's impossible. Two places at once. Gregory, you're a genius! Oh, perfect! Um... um oh. <laughs> uh, thank you? I... I, I guess? <laughs> what did I do? Well, if I use my fast wrench to hack one of the mimics, I can make it look like you, and we can stick it in the tube. She'll have no idea. Wait, but... Cassie, uh, well, that's a really cool idea and everything. Uh, will it even work? I mean... You just hacked the mainframe of this building with the Nexus system. I mean, won't the mimics be powerless? That's what it was designed to do. Yes, they will be powerless, but only of their own free will. I should still be able to manipulate one manually. Oh, um, yeah. Uh, okay, sure. I just, I really hope this works. It will, but we don't have much time. Come on, hurry. Help me. <laughs> oh, what a lie. Day. <laughs> I mean, it's not every day that a wondrous being like me gets to take over the world and nothing can stop me. <laughs> Isn't that right, little Gregory? Oh, I bet you wish you could stop old Vanny this time, don't you? <laughs> What? Nothing to say? Hmm? Little fishy! <laughs> Wake up! I'm ruining your life here! You should have something to say. No? What is going on with you? Hmm? <laughs> Gregory! What? Made... What? Are you kidding me? Made of freaking metal? A trick? You've got to be kidding me. So this is where she's been hiding out this whole time. Yeah, I... uh, Tiger? Oh, this What's is... What's going on? I don't know, this... Some kind of force field or something keeping me from going in. This is um, this is new. It's never been here before. Uh, all right, let me see if I can. Uh, I mean, yeah, uh, I'm not having any sort of issues going further. Um, uh, look, uh, I really hate to do this, but I'm going to have to go on without you then. No, Roxy, you you can't do that. This. It's a really bad idea. This is super dangerous. This is Fanny we're talking about. Someone who's tried to ruin your life on multiple occasions. Someone who stole your son. She just blew up your home. Tiger, I know. But I have to be done sitting around and letting Fanny win. I have to do something. I mean, Tiger, she has my son. I know, but... <sighs> Look, as much as I would love your help, you've 
already helped beyond measure already. I I can do this. Okay. Just please be careful. I will. Good luck. Oh. Thank you for everything. Of course. <sighs> If I'm being honest with you, Gregory, I didn't just hack the system with the Mexus program. I installed a virus that will make every mimic connected to that building's IP explode. What? Are we sure we want to do that? Of course we do, Gregory. Vanny and all of her plans will finally be gone. Once and for all. I know, I just... Do we think blowing everything up is the right solution to all of this? After everything you've been through, after everything that I had to go through, don't you think it's justified to never have to worry about Vanny lurking in the shadows anymore? No more wondering if she's looming over our shoulders? Peace and quiet, Gregory. That's the solution here. Yeah. Yeah, I guess you're right. You know what? Do it. I just hope we're making the right call here. things a long time ago. And you're going to burn with it. 
You're leaving? Just like that? What else do you want from me? You lost, Manny. Once and for all. You may have won several battles along the way, but we will always win the war. It's time for us to be rid of you. Forever. I am so glad you're both okay. You have no idea the mental turmoil I went through today. The moment I saw your message pop up saying you were safe, I... I just... I get it, Mom. Thank you for going and standing up to Vanny for me. That was really brave of you to do. I know this may not be the best time, but seeing as though your house kind of exploded do you know where you're gonna be staying i haven't even gotten a chance to think about it if i'm honest today's been such a whirlwind of emotions well i was wondering because i was going to offer my house we have a ton of extra space plus my mom's never home anyway so i'm sure she wouldn't mind i mean we do you have a ton of stuff to catch up on? Uh, sure, sweetheart. Thank you. But this is only going to be a temporary thing. Until I can get something else figured out. Okay? <laughs> Absolutely. I still can't believe Vanny's lair just blew up like that. I wonder what she was working on that could have caused such a crazy thing to happen. Actually, that wasn't Vanny's doing. That was, uh, sort of us. <laughs> I hacked her system with the Mexus protocol and caused every mimic in the vicinity to explode. I totally showed her. Wait, every mimic? Oh no. What's wrong, Roxy? I never told you guys. Um, Tiger Rock was with me, and... Oh my god. I forgot. I read it when I went through your computer. Tiger Rock. He's a mimic. Oh, Tiger. Please. Please tell me you're okay. You win this battle, but I assure you, you have not won the war. We were supposed to do this together, but unfortunately, there seems to have been a wrench thrown into our plans. So, I'm going to resort to Plan B. Project Lazarus has officially been activated. Take me, take my soul, 
take my mind and my body and fuse into one. While we may no longer stand side by side in the end, our minds will be forever connected, entwined by the remnant that's coursing through my veins. I'll see you on the other side, glitch trap. That speech was nice, Vanessa, but did you really think I would let you cloud my mind in the end? What are you doing? A deal is a deal, Glitch Trump! Haven't you heard? You don't make deals with the devil! <laughs> No, don't do this. I can help you. We can still do this together. I don't need your help. Not anymore. What a perfect time to resume my precious plans. They don't even know I exist, so I could do it right under everyone's noses. I've warned everyone before, but they never listen. I always come back. 